From the moment a child is born, the symphony of sounds fills a parent's life. It begins with the first cry, a reassuring sign of life's arrival, a moment of joy and happiness for everyone. But some sounds may be a sign of an underlying potential breathing problem. Listen carefully to these sounds. <laughs> Have you ever heard these tunes before? Do you think it is normal? <laughs> Does this noise worry you and you're not sure what it is? Watch till the end to learn what could be causing this distress signal. Winter is here and I see a lot of children suffering from breathing difficulties coming to the hospital. So today I'll help you understand the potential hidden issues behind those unusual sounds. As parents, it's only natural to be concerned when your child's breathing doesn't sound quite right. I'm Dr. Waze Rafiq and today I'm here to provide some clarity and guidance on this matter. I'll discuss what could be causing these sounds, whether they are normal or not, and most importantly, what steps you can take to ensure your child's well-being. So let's get started. First, what is noisy breathing? Noisy breathing is exactly what it sounds like. Your child breathes loudly or makes a weird noise when breathing. This can occur due to a narrowing or obstruction or blockade in any portion of the airway passages from the nose to the mouth down to the lungs. Now this reduced airflow can originate from various places in the respiratory system, including the nose, the mouth, the throat, the larynx or the voice box, the trachea or the breathing tube, or even the lungs. It is essential to understand where these sounds come from to identify the cause of the issue and then take appropriate steps to address it. Now there are three main types of noisy breathing. The first type is called stertor. Stertor typically arises from the back of your child's throat or nose that will produce a low pitch sound like snoring. This kind of noisy breathing is due to the congestion in the mouth and nose, such as when a child has a common cold. You may also hear this type of breathing noise in children suffering from adenoid enlargement. I remember examining a child during their preoperative visit scheduled for a hernia repair. Upon taking history, the mom revealed that the five-year-old boy snoring at night and breathing through the mouth with persistent nasal congestion and nasal discharge. I had to sadly postpone his surgery and referred him to the ENT surgeon. The boy eventually ended up having his adenoids taken out and I met the boy again with her mom, it turns out the sound had gone. He gained weight, he was more active throughout the day, and he did well. The second type of noisy breathing is called strider. Strider is characterized by a high-pitched and turbulent sound that occurs during both inhalation and exhalation. The noisy sound is heard as air passes by the blocked or narrowed part of the voice box or the larynx or even the windpipe or the trachea. A number of conditions can block or narrow the upper way, airway and cause strider. Common causes of strider can be either viral or bacterial infections, swallowing small objects that get lodged in the upper airway, upper respiratory tract infections, inflammation, cyst, scarring, and conditions such as laryngomalacia, where soft tissues partially obstruct the airway or certain congenital heart issues. Now, strider should always be checked out by a physician. The third type of sound is called wheezing. Wheezing is generally higher pitch than strider and occurs primarily during exhalation. It typically signals problems originating in the windpipe within the lungs. 
Now, common causes of wheezing usually are asthma, reactive airway diseases, often triggered by viral infections or situations where a child inhales a foreign object. Now, understanding these type of noisy breathings can provide valuable insights into your child's respiratory health. Now, if you're concerned about your child's breathing sounds or have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your pediatrician for a thorough evaluation and appropriate guidance. Next, I want to talk about when is noisy breathing concerning. First and foremost, if there's a sudden change in your child's voice or you observe them turning blue or dark red around the lips, these are alarming signs that require immediate medical attention. Now, this is a clear indicator that their oxygen levels might be compromised. Similarly, if your child's become unusually difficult to wake up or shows signs of severe respiratory distress, such as rapid breathing, flaring of the nostrils, or their belly enlarging during inspiration, this is a cause of concern. Additionally, if you notice the skin pulling inwards at the collarbone during their breathing efforts, it's another sign that your child is struggling to breathe effectively. Now, apart from looking at the signs of distress, if you hear harsh, high-pitched, noisy breathing in a small baby that consistently occurs during activity or feeding, worsens with cold or when lying on their back, this could be a potential sign of strider, often associated with a condition called laryngomalacia. Or if you hear wheezing, especially if it is triggered by activity, this could be an indicator of asthma. It's important to be vigilant as it can also occur after a choking incident involving a foreign object. If you suspect that your child has choked on something and they exhibit certain noisy breathing along with drooling, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. In any of these situations, don't hesitate. Seek medical help promptly. Your child's health and well-being should always be your top priority. Now, if you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video to help us reach more parents like you. Additionally, for more in-depth resources and articles on pediatric health, please visit my website, drwaysrafiq.com. Remember, noisy breathing can be a distress signal and understanding its meaning is crucial. It can be caused by various factors from infections and structural issues to abnormal blockages or conditions like asthma. The well-being of your child should always be your top priority and seeking timely medical attention when needed is essential. Thank you for watching and stay informed and proactive when it comes to your child's health.